It is only 12 acres, most of it's marsh, but it is 12 acres of marsh no developer will ever touch. Ted, officials of the Dane County Natural Heritage Foundation hope what happens south of McFarland today will set a precedent for much more to come. We get the story now from News 3's Joel Despain. The wetlands of Lower Mud Lake are some of the last resting and feeding places in southern Wisconsin for migrating geese. From this day forward, this 12-acre spot will be protected by law. At a state capitol ceremony, its owner signed a conservation easement agreement with the Dane County Natural Heritage Foundation. Wetlands, contrary to the belief of many, are not an enemy, a wasteland, something to be attacked and conquered with dragline and bucket and drain tiles are filled in. They are oases of diverse life. The four-year-old Natural Heritage Foundation is dedicated to preserving Dane County's important conservation areas. Easements with people like Mike and Lynn McLean are important tools to that end since the agreements prohibit land from ever being developed. It's a relatively uh, new approach to conservation. It's one that's especially effective for private conservation organizations because there's nothing mandatory about it. It doesn't operate by government regulation or order. It involves voluntary arrangements with landowners. The McLean's new home will look out over the new refuge. What we're, we're really doing in essence is, uh, is guaranteeing that any other uh, resident of this piece of property will, uh, will respect it uh, the way that, that, that we would naturally. I feel like it's a gift to our children and to future generations and what better gift can you give? Can you give, says McLean, than a natural playground that her children can in turn pass on to succeeding generations? Joel Despain, WISC News 3, Lower Mud Lake.